shit, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is crazy. Last week, it might have been earlier this week, but I think it was pretty much last week. I got a um, Halloween Town Donald and a Halloween Town Goofy pop from a place called Collector's Corner. Um, Cl Collector's Corner, which is like a comic book shop that has a bunch of toys and stuff like that, especially like. Um, a lot of like older toys like He-Man and like all kinds of stuff. Um, but if it's collectible, he pretty much gets it in here and there. It depends on if people sell their stuff or not. And I found out that when I got the Goofy and Donald, that was actually one of my buddies that brought in his Kingdom Hearts stuff and sold it. And I was like, why did you do that? <laughs> but what's really cool about it is that I told him that I would de definitely go back at the um, and get the rest of the stuff so that his collection is taken care of. You know, like I, I take care of all my Kingdom Hearts stuff. This is this is my Kingdom Hearts shrine. But when I went back today, I was expecting to go back and get what I was, you know, didn't get last time, which were really expensive, which were literally like the Tron three pack. It's a chase, um, and the Mickey that was there. Um, I couldn't remember what the big deal was, but the Mickey was literally $50 by itself. The Tron pack was uh, 70 bucks, and then they had the original Tron pack that was like 50 bucks. But I didn't want to get both the original and the Chase. I just got the Chase, but there was more to it. <laughs> there was a lot more to it, and I said, oh my god, I bet this all came from his collection, and I didn't even realize what was missing. So, they have a specialty series. This isn't from his collection. This is actually something that they got in. A Funko Specialty Series of Kyrie, And this Kyrie has her Keyblade, if you can see back there. Um, this is from Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, and I I asked the uh, one of the girls working at Collector's Corner. And she basically said that when um, something you know is popular or whatever, sometimes you get a Specialty Series. Which a, special, a Specialty Series is basically small shops like comic book shops and stuff like that will get stuff like this that's kind of like an exclusive thing for small shops i think that's really cool and i'm glad that i got this Kyrie. you know she has her keyblade finally i gotta pop with her keyblade all right i'm gonna sit this one down here because i gotta figure out where all of this stuff is gonna go i'm gonna go from like my yeah i got it to my oh my god i got it pops okay um i've seen this before um, didn't know where it was exclusive to, but I got the exclusive. It is a Walmart exclusive Pete, and this Pete is actually basically black and white. I do like this a lot. It's very different. Um, it's just like the other Pete Pop, but this one's black and white, and it was a Walmart exclusive. So I think I would have paid 15 bucks for this. And I think she was, uh, Kyra was at a regular price. For a pop, I believe so. She was fourteen ninety nine. So, so you're looking at fourteen ninety nine, and then you're looking at shit. What, what did I spend on that, Pete? Fifteen. So it's been it's, it's thirty right there. I'm telling you. <clears throat> so also they had a Valor Form Sora, which was a Toys R Us exclusive, and I was like, holy shit, Toys R Us is not a thing anymore. Well, it is. It it, it came back like smaller stores um but Toys R Us had a Valiform Sora and I didn't I didn't get that so now I have it and I think this is a really cool piece to have this is a part of like the first series I guess um and I spent 25 bucks for for him so that's that's them we're getting closer to the good shit I'm telling you I can't believe how many pops I bought today. I, I never buy pops like this much. Like, I'll buy one, two. Or maybe if a whole set comes out, I'll just buy the set of Kingdom Hearts ones. Not like this, though. Um, <clears throat> apparently, GameStop had an exclusive uh, Goofy with his, like, I guess his his armor and everything for, I guess, uh, uh, Disney Castle. And I, I thought that this was actually the one I had. Um... Like, I didn't know there was two different models. I thought that this was the one with the shield. I didn't realize that this is actually a different uh, version. So I was like, oh, mine has a shield. 
and I ended up picking this one up as well and this one was 10 bucks I mean you can't beat that I mean 10 bucks for a pop that I didn't have didn't even know existed I thought it was the other one um then I have a Best Buy exclusive Sora which I didn't even know that they got an exclusive Sora I guess this all like was stuff that came out before I got back into Kingdom Hearts a couple years ago and the stuff I missed out on and I'm glad that I'm I, I had the chance to pick up these in some sort of way you know um, and it's even funnier that I knew the guy that sold this th these pieces to um, to collector's corner I am still shocked that I just really spent that much money on these pops now okay this is where the excitement is bro okay this is the one piece that if I had to only buy one pop today, this is the one I would have bought. Screw the chases, screw everything. This is a pop that I wanted forever, and I just hesitated to get it because it was like 50 bucks or something on Amazon. I'm just, for one pop, might as well go, go all the way, right? Um, I got the Halloween Town Donald. I got the Halloween Town Goofy. I finally got the Halloween Town Sora. I had the Christmas Town Sora. Um, but I got the Halloween Town Sora. I'm so happy about this pop. Now, what is funny is that um, I mentioned this guy plenty of times before. He used to work at the White Marsh GameStop. Um, his name is Dan. He actually is the one that sold me his... Uh, my my pre-order for the Kingdom Hearts 3 PS4 actually got canceled. And he sold me his. And he really wanted his, but he, he actually, you know sold me his because he knew I wanted it so bad Dan bought me the actual um the Christmas Town Sora and I finally got the Halloween Town Sora this is a piece that I, this is the one pop that I just wanted forever and now I have it this is the I'm telling you like I was so excited when I seen this up on the shelf and this one was 20 bucks I, I didn't think this was a bad price 20 bucks you go online this is like from 40 to 50 bucks that's ridiculous not anymore. <laughs> I'm so happy I got this. Now, last two pieces are, I guess, really important pieces. They, they're chases. Um, uh, I like them, but I bought them because they were chases, basically. I, I, I can't not have chase pops, Kingdom Hearts pops. Not in this collection. Like, what's going on? So, apparently, Box Lunch had a glow-in-the-dark limited edition chase of um, Organization 13 Mickey. And this is a really cool piece. I don't have an Organization 13 Mickey. The only thing about this Mickey is it was 50 bucks. That is crazy. Now, I think it's just a little crazy because 50 bucks for a pop. But, you know, a lot of pops are quite expensive now it depends on what you're buying and what it is and it is a chase so you know one pop 50 bucks tell me what you guys think about that okay did you guys spend that much money on a pop before if you guys can hear holly in the background she is barking again because she just likes to bark at everything so keep that in mind <laughs> you guys should know this by now and the final pop or pops that i got um was the Tron three pack, but it is the Chase. It's the Chase um, Tron three pack. Now, what's funny is that this three pack was seventy bucks. That one Mickey was fifty bucks. I basically got a Mickey pop and a half with this. This is crazy. Um, so what this is is basically you had to get one of the mystery boxes, and out of like so many boxes, this Chase would would be in one. Um, and I don't know how rare this would be. Um, one in four boxes or, or so. Doesn't seem like it's like too crazy, but I mean, it's a chase. I wanted it for the collection. Let me be great, guys. Um, but tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Have you purchased a pop that has been really expensive? Or did you want any of these pops but just could never run into them? I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. 
Remember to leave this video a huge like, subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, we're doing a bunch of giveaways. The only way to have a chance at any of our giveaways is to make sure you're subscribed by hitting that subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to join the Wayfinders Union Cross Groups, you can hit our Discord link to the Wayfinders Discord down below. And once you're in there, we can set you up in one of our uh, Unicross groups that best fits the way that you play Unicross. And even if you don't play Unicross, you can still join and talk about Kingdom Hearts stuff, and Final Fantasy stuff, all that good stuff. Also down there is a bunch of links to other channels. Those channels are actually the content creators in the Wayfinders. If you want to check out any of those channels, go ahead and do so. And my Patreon is also linked down below as well. I always tell you guys it's not necessary. It just helps me bring out uh, more arts and craft types of videos when I build Keyblades and when I um, build props from Kingdom Hearts, all of that stuff. So as always, thank you guys for watching and let your hearts be your guiding keys. Bye.